Hey guys, it's Damien BK, and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 on the PC and I'm going to talk a little bit about Advanced Warfare. I haven't really done too much of it, except for the previous video. Uh, I've only done two, unlike many commentators who have put out a, a ton of content about it. And I thought I'd just go over what I'm, I'm hoping for in the next Call of Duty um, and, and maybe just get a... Uh, an idea of what you guys uh, are interested in seeing in the next Call of Duty. Especially leave uh, a comment down below so I can and go through and see what you guys are interested in seeing in the next Call of Duty. And maybe uh, we've got some ideas that match up and maybe we, we completely disagree. But at the end of the day, it's uh, interesting to see what you guys are, are wanting to see. So one of the biggest things I want to see change in the next Call of Duty is the time to kill. I really do feel like the time to kill in Call of Duty it's just got smaller and smaller and smaller as the games have gone on um, and especially in Ghost I, I just really do feel like that is too quick I don't feel like there's enough time to react uh, I think that first person to shoot is the first person to die which should make sense really uh, but I do feel like you should have a chance of maybe getting out of uh, the way maybe retreating to cover because that's what the map is for it's got cover and you're, you're supposed to use it and I feel like um, in the the modern Call of Duties, it just doesn't really work like that. Uh, yeah, the lack compensation in Black Ops 2, it does get you killed when you're hiding behind cover, but generally, most of the time, if you're you're quick to react, you can get out of the way and uh, recover, or at least get a few shots on and uh, get them, uh, not um, to, to death's door, but maybe a few shots in, so they're, they're a couple of shots away and your teammates can, can clear them up and uh, move on. So yeah, I really do feel like that needs to be changed. I'm really hoping it's along the lines of BO2, because uh, I do feel like that's about right. I don't feel like it's it's too much of a headache to kill someone. Sometimes, yeah, uh, the, the guns feel like a, a little bit weak and you feel like you're getting hit markers for days. Uh, for instance, the Vector, for me, it just feels like that. And for some other people, it might just be an amazing gun. But for me, on my connection, it just it doesn't feel right. It doesn't bode right with me. Uh, so that could just be a connection issue. But other than that, I, I do find most guns do kill quite quickly. I've even come around to the MTAR. I've been playing with that. And I know a lot of you guys have said the MTAR is pretty beastly. And I've never really given it a fair chance. Um, I never usually give guns that you get within the first few ranks of unlock a fair chance. It's usually thrown away and I wait until higher unlocks. Because generally, that's how it works. You unlock guns and the higher the, the unlock, the better it is. And uh, that's why I ignored it. But even that weapon, the MTAR, it, it's actually pretty decent. It kills quite quickly and not too many hit markers. So I do feel like the time to kill is, is pretty much spot on with BO2. What do you guys think of that? My next issue with modern Call of Duty is are the perks. I really do feel like perks are going uh, to another level, uh, especially in COD Ghosts. The amount of perks you can have and the amount of customization. I think it's a good thing. Customization it really does prolong the game, but I feel like as well it, it's a balancing issue on top of a, a headache. When I first jumped on Ghosts, it was just like, what the hell do I choose? I haven't got a clue how to use their their creator class system, I don't know how to use the perks, it was just really outright confusing. Uh, I understand it now, after playing it a little bit, but I do feel like that game has too many perks, and I really do feel like it. it's a balance issue. I, I don't feel like they can balance every combination that there is, and you're always going to get an issue where uh, a certain overpowered class comes through. For instance, Modern Warfare 2, uh, that didn't have a million perks, but that had an issue with... Uh, one man army, danger close, and that was an issue I don't think they saw would happen. Uh, ideally, if you think about it, then perks are not too bad by themselves at all. Uh, I don't feel like the game would have been so much of a headache, but combined, it's an issue, and they never got round to patching it. Um, yeah, the granted, they might patch it in 
the newer Call of Duties, but I don't feel like they would outright patch perks from a game once it's released. Um, so yeah, I think less is more, and uh, I really do feel like we should go back to the older Call of Duties. Even Black Ops 2, um, I like the way there is no pro perks. I really do like that. I think that's it's pretty much spot on. There's only a few perks. It's more about gunplay instead of perks making you, you survive all the time. Um, flat Jacket in this game is not an issue for me. A lot of people complain about it. Uh, C4 is ma mainly, I would imagine. But I really don't mind Flat Jacket. It does save you from car bombs that go off sometimes if you're lucky, if you're not right up against it. Um, so yeah, that's not really an issue in BO2. Uh, and it, this is going to sound like a, a BO2 love fest. I'm, I'm licking the arsehole of BO2, but I'm really not. I just, it's my personal opinion that BO2 done a lot of things right uh, and a few things wrong. The other thing I really want this new Call of Duty to have is a knife system that works. Black Ops 2 just doesn't work. It's, it's the most ridiculous knife ever. And I never thought I would be complaining about a knife not working properly in Call of Duty because one of the most annoying things in the world is a panic knife. Uh, and back in the day when I did play a little bit on console, the panic knife thing was ridiculous because it literally is you just squish the controller um, and you're going to get a, a panic knife on the default. I can't even remember. Is it default layout? It's the uh, analog stick to knife. Because I used to play on tactical. Uh, years and years ago, but I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I know the panic knifing on Xbox was a bit of an issue, and on PC it's a bit of an issue, especially if you've got a, a mappable mouse like I have. I've got knife actually on my mouse, and a lot of people think that's cheap, but a lot of people use it as well. Uh, so if you, you're going to get up close and personal, you can just press a button and you've got a knife. In Black Ops 2, it doesn't always work like that, and you, you panic knife. Uh, most of the time doesn't work and you're running around in circles trying to knife each other. In Ghost, I feel like the knife was just ridiculous. The, the grabbing animation, that got me killed more than uh, anything else really, to be honest, in that game. Going in for the knife at the last resort would always get me killed standing there like a pillock trying to go for the knife in animation. And uh, it's the same in um, Battlefield where you got the grab animation, that will always get me killed. So I, I think it's come to to prove that some fancy animation for knifing doesn't work. I really don't know how they could do it. Um, maybe just go back to the older Call of Duties and, and make the knife maybe a little bit slower because I know um, some of the knife animations in Call of Duty are just ridiculously quick. Even the older Call of Duties, you can knife so fast. Um, some weapons even give you a faster knife reaction. So yeah, I think there needs to be a balance issue with the knife. The other thing is I don't want chuckable C4s, I don't want any sort of chuckable explosive and the very beginning clip of this game goes to prove that, how easy. Uh, it's quite cool to get a quad with a C4 and it happens quite a lot to me, I'm quite lucky. Um, but I don't like them, uh, I really hate playing against people like it so I always have a class made for going against them of the same and I don't feel like... It, I feel like Call of Duty has strayed away from gunplay in the last few years and it's really come to killstreaks. Ghost made killstreaks quite crap and uh, a lot of people were agreeing with me that assault streaks in that game are just useless and I think they went too far. You, there has to be a balance um, but I do feel like the game has lost its, its gunplay uh, aspect and it's, it's more about just chucking things and camping in the corner for your killstreak and, and being out of the map on a, a VTOL. I really don't like kill streaks that take you out of the game um, like the VTOL. So anyway guys let me know what you think of my ideas, let me know if any of them you agree with or you disagree with, you might disagree with all of them but these are just my opinions on a few of uh, ideas that I had thinking about it earlier. Anyway guys hope you enjoyed, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Later.